We have a group of students that have been working with uh, local scientists to develop a fire sensor uh, that will enable um, uh, unmanned aerial vehicles to scout remote forest regions uh, and look for forest fires at extremely uh, long distances and when they, the flames are, are very, very small compared to the technology that they can use now. What we had here is we had a um, fire sensor that we were trying to implement on the front of this helicopter. And um, usually the battery is located on the helicopter, on the front of the helicopter. And so we needed to design something in order to house the battery and be able to still fly the helicopter. So we put it um, under and made an undercarriage out of RP material. Yeah, so we had this fire sensor here. Um, we needed a way to be able to remove the lens quickly. Um, so we designed some threads onto there. The Fortis is real good at accurately reproducing the CAD models. So we were able to get some really nice threading features on here. We have some older iterations. They don't thread, um, and we needed a way to be able to secure the lens on very well. The threads worked out really nicely for that. Take off. Well, I, I don't really know how we would have um, uh, accomplish this except maybe uh, injection molding which would have taken hours and hours more because you would have had to make a CNC mold to actually inject the part into. This is very easy. It, you just sit there, you plug in your CAD model and print it and it's good to go. Come back about six hours later and you know you've got a part.